Everyone, Doubly here, back for part four of our playthrough with Final Fantasy 16. In the last part, we finally <coughs> caught up to Clive in the present time, where uh, him and a bunch of other uh, Sam Brock, Sam Brakwai, Sam Brakwai, Sam Brakwai uh, assassins were going after Shiva. Um, they finally meet up. Or they finally get to her, and turns out Shiva is Jill, Clive's um, childhood not sister. Like she was a ward of the Rossfield family. <clears throat> um, so Clive decides that he's gonna save her. Um, gets surrounded by the Iron Blood and rescued by Sid, who takes him to the hideaway. Which is where we are. So. Let's see. I suppose it's time to get on with the main, main story. <laughs> to the Great Wood. We should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? <laughs> the Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists as a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Really is. We don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. <clears throat> Banning embers. Okay. Torgal has joined and will fight alongside Clive. Oh. Use the left directional button to toggle between item shortcuts and pet command. The following three commands are available. Sick, heal, and ravage. Oh, Torgal has launched. Nice. Uh, Ring of Timely Assistance removes this, the need for giving Torkoal commands. When this item is equipped, Torkoal will attack and heal automatically. Okay. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. <laughs> You're welcome for that and the shortcut. There are always deadly beasts. Never not any deadly beasts. <laughs> this looks beautiful. I mean, I'm playing on performance mode, frame rate mode at the moment, but still, this looks fantastic. Oh. Oh, that felt... <laughs> that was kind of random, but... Okay.
Holy. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of storm to fall to the blight. Poor oh, sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Let's try and stay out of its path. <laughs> Remember when I said to the deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs in these parts aren't much better. And you only need to mention this now. Ow, what the? just looked like a huge bearded dragon or a lizard rather <laughs> it's like a mix between a bearded lizard and an ankylosaur after you thank you kindly damn bro strong as heck How do you even do that? The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. That's a really, really nice shot. Almost reminds me of Xenoblade. I haven't played those games, but reminds me of that. Like one of the cover arts for one of the games. What do we got? Oh boy. Thought I dodged in time there. Dragon Talon. Upon close inspection of a lesser dragon's foot, one may observe that the middle talon is considerably longer than the rest. Extended appendage is used to puncture the fleshy parts of the creature's prey, causing severe blood loss and weakening them for the kill. 
And the Shard Fang, if there is one thing for which the fauna of Valisthea do not want, it's more Dagger Sharp Fangs to line their slavering maws. So the Valisthaeans, fortunate enough not to succumb to said fangs, have conceived ingenious ways of fashioning them into myriad articles of virtue, ranging from cutlery to bijouterie. Bijouterie? Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. That's better. All right. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. <laughs> what? What is it, boy? At least one of us knows he's... Uh, why trust your own animal instincts when you can have an actual animal at your side? If you're lost, hold down L3 to let Torgul point you in the right direction. Thank you, Torgul. <gasps> yes! Alright, so I guess that's the way to go. Yeah. Nothing over there, huh? More Worgen. Off of me, please. Oops, that is not what I meant to press. Ah. Okay. Shoot, I lost track of where we were. All right. Thanks, Torgal. So after messing around in the um, the void, as it were, the uh, free combat simulation, um, Oh. 
Uh, every time the sword hits an enemy is the time to do the magic burst. So whenever you see a spark fly, and you don't want to press the square button too fast. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Because otherwise, it, if you if you press the square button too fast, then it's just going to go into the next combo, so... Oh, that actually hit. Not if we kill him first. And that move always gets me, doesn't it? <laughs> oh boy. I don't know why that move is giving me so much trouble. the first part of the attack is gonna like hurt but maybe it doesn't I don't know I didn't realize until now. Oops. I pressed <laughs> I pressed jump thinking it was dodge for some reason. Man, having dodge on a, a shoulder button is still getting used to it. Gnarled scale, covered in countless scars, these scales tell a tale of supremacy and survival, albeit one now ended. Dominant. I am. I. But not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. <laughs> Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. Well, what's in it for you? 
That's a good, good, good question. What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? Mm. So... Are all bears people who can use magic? Are non are people who don't have the mark basically people who can't use magic? Is that what's going on? Or is there something else? Clive, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this double in the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. Alright. Forest dark enough was it? <laughs> Oh man, this looks great. Though it's probably a JPEG, but who knows? What do we got? Hornets. Ugh. Oh, you can shift up to them. That's cool. That's cool. All right, that's the way forward. Um, let's see, we have 372 ability points. Can't master any of these just yet. What does mastering this do? Increases distance. Okay. Deal damage to all enemies within a large radius while healing self. Uh. Okay. This would be nice, but... Oh wait, no, this isn't what I'm thinking of. What does a mastering precision dodge give us? Extends trigger window. Ooh. That would be nice, actually. Um, extends trigger window. I see, I see. This just makes the range longer. Ah, uh, does this take less time? Yeah. Increases maximum kicks to two. You know what? Let's take this, actually. I am down with that. Um, and let's actually grab this. All right, Torgal. Seems like they're both going the same direction. Indicator lines to tell you when an attack is coming in, I think. Okay, okay, okay. 
See that river? We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. <laughs> right. Okay, we can go that way. We can go this way. Ah, I see. Sick, dude. Okay, so that was just a little shortcut around, I suppose. Oh, man. So many places to go. Although there was something up here. How do I get up there? Unless I'm crazy. I thought I saw something, but maybe it was just a light shimmering through the tree leaves and made me think that there was an item. It's entirely possible. Hello, hello. Oh dear. <laughs> Completely lost track. Is that where we need to go? No. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dodge on R1 is like biting me in the butt so hard. Oh, we are going the right way. What the heck? Oh. Got some meteorite for our troubles. So, is this the river path that I for want kind of ignored one would say okay this all looks familiar and I went up there right 
That leads over there. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, let's go this way. You know... Yeah, I wish there was a toggle for motion blur because... It is a bit distracting. Ah, okay. That seems to be the end of that. I do hope we get to learn more about people who built this stuff. Just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, I, I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? Ah, oh, dude, you shouldn't have asked anything. It's true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? Yeah. intelligences if we can capture her you weapons on the ground imperials <sighs> let's get this over with then And Torgal. Good hound, but not a good watchdog, I suppose. <laughs> oh man, he got wrecked. Oh. What? I was not expecting to get smacked like that here. What is he, a rogue?
Uh, when the screen flashes orange like this during pivotal moments, repeatedly tap square to either fend off or press or fend off the attack. Okay. Maybe ninja? Uh, what's he gonna do? Oh! Good to know. Ow, ow. I don't have the magic counter. I dodged it out in time. Shoot. Clearly not. <laughs> that works. Maybe I was too early on that. Badge of Might.
Uh, awarded to soldiers for unparalleled displays of courage on the field of battle, a feeling of accomplishment it enkindles in the recipient's heart is thought to enhance future performance. Fuel silk and meteorite. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> I like this, Sid. Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, then they'll be sorely disappointed. Stage replay and arcade mode are now available in the Hideaway's Arita Stone. Enter the virtual battlescape for details on each of the new options. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay. Orabel Downs. Idyllic plains that stretch across the southern reaches of the Holy Empire are sparsely populated unless one knows where to look. Yeah, man, something is up with that star. So much for arriving before sunset. Uh. I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. I don't know, man. Is this the obelisk? Okay. They allow Clive to travel quickly to the location via both the world map and local map. Need only approach an obelisk to attune with it. Neat. Louder than words. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as waymarks. Perhaps. <laughs> ah. There is zoom? There is. Oh, but the text doesn't zoom. That's a shame. Can't really read what that says. Galrans Bales? Or something? Ah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Already did that. This is very scenic. Oh, we get to move fast now. That's oh man, that feels good. 
Look at it. Look at Clive zooming around. Hustling. Oh. Can't do a Skyrim. Oh. Is this a vineyard? Guys. So I don't know much about 14. What I do know about 14 is the great grape fiasco. <laughs> Well, so much for quiet, eh? Sick of toggle. Don't let them get away. Yeah, that was pretty aggressive. <laughs> All right. Nothing in the vineyard, huh? No item drops. I can see. Oh, and his jump changes based on whether or not he's, like, running or not. Cool. Keep your distance, boy. That's enough. Seems like we've explored this area pretty much. Nothing to see here. Looks like. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> Maybe. Up ahead. Are they friends or foes? All right, calm down there. Maybe there's something over here. No. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Osfryer. It's over. Give them all you've got. Ooh. That was not intentional, but I'll take it. Keep on forgetting that I have the um, what should we call it? I can charge up my sword. I keep forgetting that. Though so, I don't know what good that'll do. Maybe it will do some good. Okay. What's destination nearby? Got it. Well, doesn't seem like the royalists. Yeah. For this hour. What do we do now? First, we look for my scout. You start here. I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout. <laughs> Subtle. <clears throat> I 
I mean, I don't even know what he looks like. He's about as subtle as a god of thunder can be. I just realized he's thunder god, Sid. Can it? Oh, do I need to interact with it, or does it just automatically activate? Oh. I don't know how it took me this long to realize Thunder God Sid. Oh my goodness. I'm... I'm an idiot. <laughs> Actually, Thunder God Sid, huh? Well, doesn't seem to be anything over here. Oh, I thought Torgal was like... That Torgo was like an enemy hound or something. What's up, kid? It's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I were with the Imperial Army, and we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In, in the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? To the church, then. Hmm. Okay. So this way? Seems. The Hanged Man. <clears throat> Reminds me of Dragon, Qu Dragon Quest? Dragon Age 2. I think the pub in that place was called the Hanged Man, I remember right. Torgal, you sound like you're out of breath. You doing okay, bud? That's Sid. The church, I know. I'm one step out of you. You go in through the front, I'll take the rear. Anyone stands in our way, the other can stab him in the back. Oh, right. How did he know? <laughs> Is there anything for us to find here? Probably not because they probably want us to get on with the story. Damn it. No one here. Yeah, but we got some black blood out of it. Whatever that does, I'm sure it's a crafting ingredient. Always pays to make sure you check. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit too thorough. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing else here. All right. Um, that means let's check out the lower floor of the hanged man, and then we can get to the church. <clears throat> I mean. The prompt does say explore. That's what I plan to do. Assuming this is the exit. Yeah, Torgal doesn't sound too pleased with what's happening. Sounds a bit agitated. We should get on with it. <clears throat> uh. 
This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. <laughs> okay. Mm. Who the hell are you? Clive! <laughs> Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Oh, well. where he's going. Clive, after him. Alright, let's boogie. Okay, Clive, you can run faster than that. Come on. of time before we seize our quarry very good and what of the others the bearers have been taken to care Norvent. some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us all is in hand my lady they will not be spoiled i give you my word <laughs> gentlemen a toast will you join me <laughs> my thanks to our lady of the wind and the king <laughs> Ugh. The imperials drink this piss well it would go some way to explain their breath <laughs> <laughs> the lady benedicta imperials And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Mercy. <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. God, I was getting bored. Okay. Uh Where did Good question. Rada. If this means what I think it does, then Sid has some explaining to do. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I didn't press the counter in time. There we go. I think the only... I don't quite understand Scarlet Cyclone because it says it gets more powerful when um, you get knocked back, but I tried using it a couple of times when I did get knocked back. Yeah, like like there, I tried using it, but it didn't go off. Okay, Cleric's Medallion. What appears to be a holy relic able to channel the power of the divine into a curative energies actually contains the dust of a light aspected crystal known to be a catalyst for restorative arts. Oh. And magic to ash. All creation is possible because of aether. It's what gives the formless form and the lifeless life. When an object is consigned to the flames, whether due to age, accident, or ill intent, aether contained within is released and returned to the land. There are, however, rare instances in which an elemental charge remains trapped in the resulting detritus, and skilled weaponsmiths can harness this energy for use in their work. I can never remember if it's detritus or detritus, but... Got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked your question, Lord Commander. Oh. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy oh, something, isn't it? And she's gone. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. <laughs> the man has a nose for these things. Trust me. I'm really liking 
the rapport between these two. Sid being like, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that was great. So, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Fuck any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. No offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the yeah. same thing. Yeah, this is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. And that... I'll drink to. <sighs> oh, okay. Spoony bard. Listen, Clive. Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me. And I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be a slave then. His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Well, he certainly did look like the hooded figure in Clive's vision, but... Clive. Wake up. Gav's back. K. 
Ken Norvald. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? <laughs> Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way, uh, suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. <laughs> I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. Hmm. The Dead of Night. Yep, yep, yep. Now that's settled, there's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent. Nice kid. All right. Well, I think that'll do it for this part. Um, that's actually something I wanted to check. Okay, his last name's not Orlando. <laughs> that would have been great if it was, but... Uh, let's see here. Mysterious figure who was first seen amid the chaos of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate. Right. Lord... I think she said Lord Margrace. Gotta keep that in mind. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, can't wait actually to go on to the next part of this because I have a feeling we're going to fight Benedicta, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that'll do it for this part. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.